If you can help me, press the green button on the side of my head. The project is Boxy. It's an agent that we put out to try to gather stories about a particular environment uh, autonomously. That is, we send it out in the beginning of the day, hope that it will find people, and then ask them questions and find out about the environment. Hi, my name is Boxy. I'm from the Media Lab, and I'm making a movie about MIT. On the side of my head are buttons, so you can give me instructions. If you would like to be part of the movie, press the green button. If you want me to go away, press the red button. So the robot was purposely made unintelligent. Uh, that was to keep weight, cost, and complexity down so we can send multiple robots out. On the flip side, we wanted to see if we could uh, leverage people uh, in a symbiotic relationship with the robot in order to uh, capture goals of the robot. So if the robot had a particular story capture goal, we wanted to see if we could use people to accomplish that goal. What is your name? Santiago. Agnes. I know. Celine. We chased after this uh, elusive thing called cuteness, that we wanted to make people feel empathy for the robot. That is, the robot would wander around, look, look helpless, get stuck, look like it doesn't know what it's doing, and Hopefully someone will feel bad for it and help it, and it asks them for that help. I need help. We have a very simple microprocessor and a board that generates audio, along with a few sensors, and we kept it very simple in order to keep the cost down uh, and complexity and also weight. We couldn't have a very heavy robot for people to carry. I'm really short. Can you put me on the table or hold me so I can see you? The final iteration was supposed to be made out of plastic, and we did that and it came out scary looking. Everyone that saw it agreed that it was scary and that all my cardboard models looked organic and very friendly and soft and able to be approachable. So we went back and actually used the prototype design to be the final design of the robot. I'm trying to see what everyone does around here. Can you tell me what you do here? Uh, I, I, I do work with Alex. I'm a gear op. Actually built you. <laughs> Neat! What other things would you like to tell people about yourself? Nothing in particular. <laughs> I like this little robot though. That is really cool. I'd like to take a look around. Can you take me somewhere interesting? Sure. Press the green button when we are there so I know to start paying attention. You can tell me about things on the way. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to take you to uh, my research group area. <laughs> um, so now we're leaving the new building and we're going back to the old building. And you can tell when we're in the old building because everything isn't white anymore. Wow! Whoa. Good choice! <laughs> this place is neat. I'd love to put it in my movie. So people either really liked the robot or really hated the robot. And we found that people that liked the robot would treat it very nicely as found through acceleration data. And people that didn't like the robot would treat it roughly and throw it on the ground and not hold it properly. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad robot. Bad robot. Let's go upstairs, the third floor. That was all right. But I think my movie needs something really special. Do you know any cool dance move? I put on some music so you can rock out. Here we go. We hope that this type of interaction that we studied will lead to simpler systems that may be more symbiotic with people instead of just trying to be a cold system without much interaction. Uh, we think we could use the simple sort of uh, emotional tie to create better systems and better interactions for, for people.